it's Chris from Charity Board Gamer, and we're going to go ahead and take a look at Tiny Epic Dinosaurs and do an unboxing. There we go. Let's see if I can get into the plastic. One thing I like about Tiny Epic Games is there's a lot in the box. Let's see what Holy cow, it's tight. There we go. Rule book. That's a lot of components. Okay. Alright. Some stuff to read later. Play this with the kids. I'm guessing this is something, this is a laboratory. I'm guessing this was a, an additional thing that maybe it was a Kickstarter exclusive, I'm not sure. But they usually uh, tend to have like little extra things in there whenever you get the Kickstarter exclusive, I guess. Uh, deluxe edition, that's what it is. Look at all those little meeples. I'm gonna pour that out. There we go. That's wild. All right. The only thing I noticed is that there's no, there's no meeples that hold guns and chainsaws and swords and stuff. So, however, it's got dinosaurs, so that's cool. I like that feel. All right, got a dice. I like this packaging for the cards too. Taping, taping cards like that, like putting in like a package like that, to make it easy to get them in and out. It's not bad. I have no clue what any of these do. I'm guessing I'm supposed to create these dinosaurs. I'm supposed to take care of these dinosaurs. Who knows? I'm gonna find out later. Let's see if I can get these cards back in the way that I got them out. Goodness gracious. Let's see Come on, cards. There we go. We got old things like. Rancher Biometrics. Oh. Huh. Yeah, this is... And you've got all these different types of dinosaur cards. Iguanodon. Plesiosaurus. Parasaurolophus. I'm pretty sure I said that wrong. Hey, Pterodactyl. One that I know. Spinosaurus. Triceratops. Ah, the basics. Tyrannosaurus Rex. Okay. Very cool. Nice and small. And then these look like little scoreboards. I wonder if this is what this is for. Alright, so scoring. Researching. I'm guessing this is kind of like where you put the dinosaurs and stuff. These things are. Okay. It's part of unboxing. No clue. I didn't watch any videos. Did not prepare at all. The idea when I unbox a game, I want to just be able to open it and just kind of take it all in without knowing stuff too much ahead of time. So it's kind of cool. Alright, so I'll put that in there. Put that in there. I am amazed with every single time that I, that I play a Tiny Epic game. It's amazing what you can fit in this box. You're like all these little meeples and stuff. I like that they're smaller. So I can just picture the cats messing with it over and over. Like right now, I could picture Furball coming up here and just start kind of batting these around. So we're going to have to be very cautious when we're playing with cats. So, yeah, very nice. Very nice. I like the detail. So I've never, I've never been disappointed with the games that I get from gaming. Um, I mean, I love, I love Heroes of Land, Air, and Sea. Kids love that stuff. 
Um, Tiny Epic Mechs, we had a good time playing that. Uh, it's just, the games like that are just fun. Um, I'm a big Tiny Epic Zombies fan, because I do kind of like the movie The Dawn of the Dead, so it definitely feels like I'm playing Dawn of the Dead, but we're all in the shopping mall, so. But yeah, I'm, I'm impressed uh, with what they do in such a small box. When you think about it, it's like 20 to $25 is what most of these games are, so definitely worth it. There's a big piece of meat. I don't know what that's for. I'm guessing to feed T-Rex and not eat people. I mean, you can't have a dinosaur game and it not somehow eat people. I mean, Dinosaur Island is a perfect example of that, where people get eaten or attacked and killed in each game, which is fun. I know. That sounds kind of morbid. But yeah, that's it. That is Tiny Epic Dinosaurs.